Noyer walks through the high slot. Colby Pridham, there was number 12, Nick McNeil, and it's in. UNB scores on the power play. McNeil was there. Dane Todd was there. Varsity Reds, one. St. Mary's, nothing. Dane Todd is a converted forward playing on the back end. And so, so used to in his career being a forward with the Medicine Hat Tigers. Here's a guy who's now a defenseman and he has those offensive instincts. As the puck goes in front of that, look at all the traffic there. But watch Dane Todd sneak in from out of nowhere. Here he is wandering around, just roaming around. He'll re-enter the fray right here and that loose puck is lying on the doorstep. He knocks it away from Peters. Peters thinks he's got his blocker covered on it, but Todd gets there. City Reds, one period's in the books. A feisty affair. Just the one goal in New Brunswick leads a Sportsnet Connected update is next. This season, including the AUS Championship won by UNB, so you'd expect the rough and tumble stuff to get going early on, and that's exactly what happened, especially with Colby Pridham, a former St. Mary's player. Justin Wallingford was hit hard. He's had to leave this game. He's the captain for St. Mary's. Plenty of four championships, of course, McGill ending a 135-year drought with its first ever title. Take you back to 09, of course, the championship. You see Kyle Bailey, who sent emails to his team. St. Mary's 2010. Brad Smith with the overtime winner, and then there's Kyle Bailey holding up the trophy for his squad in 2000 and two on one here Matt Tipoff has Bradley Green with him Tipoff to Green will the Costa comes across and makes a brilliant save that Carroll shot Dan LaCosta comes up big to maintain this one goal UNB lead in the University Cup final goaltenders have been so good at not allowing rebounds tonight yeah they've been really good and second chance opportunities next to impossible to come by and you have to credit the defense as well it's also been a physical contest and right from the very start guys are chipping bodies hard hits into the board that hit knocked wallingford out of the game culligan was slow to get up from one there and just what we expected he moves and finally gets eliminated by ben wright but still tanaka has it tanaka walks away and big pad saved by Steven Johnston moves it to the open side. Michael Durangio calmly moves it back behind his own goal. 18 seconds to go. St. Mary's last chance. Catching up at center was Nick McNeil. What a play that was by McNeil. And Tyler Carroll puts it into the open net. The University of New Brunswick Varsity Reds with 10.5 seconds remain. Lead by two. Brilliant, brilliant possum play by Nick McNeil. Corey Tanaka emerges from around the net and he figures he's got clearance, but he's tired. It's the end of a long shift. But watch here, McNeil slowly just taunts him down, doesn't make any noise, and then pickpockets him. That enables Tyler Carroll to take it over, does the smart play by getting over center ice, and has picture-perfect precision on the shot to seal it away for the University of New Brunswick Varsity Reds. 10.5 seconds to go, and uh, UNB is celebrating on the bench. And St. Mary's, what a season they had. A wonderful year for the Huskies. Fired into the New Brunswick zone. And it's controlled along the boards by New Brunswick. And there it is for the fifth time in over a century of hockey at the University of New Brunswick. The varsity Reds are national champions. celebrating the fifth championship in school history and Gardner McDougall his fourth championship as head coach he has done a masterful job with the varsity Reds 
And they had another dominant season, a dominant University Cup, and a deserving champion. Well, just the fourth shutout in University Cup final history, and UNB did it a couple of years ago, 4 nothing in a win over McGill. The lowest scoring shutout in the history of this event in a championship game, a 2 nothing win for UNB. Smiles for the Varsity Reds, champs in 98, 07, 09, 2011, and now in 2013. They're University Cup champions, and you need a good captain to win a championship. And the Varsity Reds have one of the best. And Chris Culligan, he's standing by with Tara Sloan. Tara? Yeah, you do need a good captain to lead a team this way. Chris Culligan, you've been here before. You got it again. How do you feel? Unbelievable. Uh, you know, this feeling doesn't get old. Uh, fortunately, that one before, and this time, you know, even better. I'm so proud of these guys. Been through a lot of adversity all year. Um, you know, we stay true to ourselves in the room, and that's what we were playing for. We came out on top. I follow you on Twitter, and I saw in your Twitter pic, you uh, took a picture of the cup with your dog sitting in it. What are your plans this time? Uh, that was just kind of luck. I didn't really plan to have it, but it kind of made its way down to Cape Breton. But uh, I'm sure we'll enjoy it tonight. I'm sure you will. Enjoy your evening. Congratulations. Well, uh, Chris Culligan, you talked about it in the pregame, Sam, about he is an offensive player but hasn't put up unbelievable numbers at this University Cup but really did the little things to help them win. Yeah. And the player of the game for UNB, number 30, Daniel LaCosta. head coach of the varsity Reds. well it's been an odd year thing and it happened again head coach gardner mcdougall how, how do you feel oh yeah just unbelievable i mean you really can't describe it in words and it just it's such a special group and now they're really special uh, anytime you can win your last game in the cis it's a real special group and they've battled all year they've handled the adversity and they found ways to respond and uh you know it's fitting tonight uh you know one goal game right to the end and uh we wanted to play fast and faster. We did that in the first. We dipped a little bit in the second, and then we just hung on. And, uh, you know, this tournament's about getting the lead, protecting it, and hopefully and extending it. And we waited till the end to extend it, but it's a special group, and it's great to see. I can tell by your scratchy throat that you've been yelling pretty <laughs> loud to get the team going. Can I offer you a lozenge? Yeah, no, maybe afterwards. But, uh, no, I mean, it's so, uh, you know, the game is, uh, the teams are so even, and it's just will. And uh, we had to will ourselves through. We had... You know, a real emotional game, our first game on Thursday night, and then we had another one last night, and then you got to bring them again, you know, uh, for, you know, an early af or late afternoon game. So uh, full credit to the group. Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you very much. And now, would the UNB captain please return to be presented with the 2013 University Cup? sports when the championship team raises the grail they played so hard to get. UNB, the champions in 2013. What a season for them, Sam. Yeah, able to uh, upend St. Mary's in the AUS championship with a two games to one victory there. And it came down to a one-game showdown and what was ultimately the eighth meeting of the season between these two clubs. And once again, UNB comes out on top. Thanks for watching the CIS University Cup coverage on Sportsnet. Connected is next.